hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another 6 a.m work day in my life here in montreal we are going to spend the whole day together with a productive work day that ends with a really fun holiday date night out i love how this video turned out and i really hope you enjoy it let's get into it this morning I had a shift at the spin studio and I woke up a little bit later than I normally like to but still took a bit of time to get ready. I had this green juice that I made the night before. It looks kind of nasty but I swear it was good. It just got all separated. I got in my car and drove over to the spin studio where my first step is always to fill up on water and just make sure I'm getting hydrated since I'm up so early. I find it really helps wake me up and then it was just off to my regular shift. Good morning! Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. Vlogmas day, I think we're at eight or nine, something like that. Um, welcome to another day in my life. Here in Montreal, today we're gonna be doing a classic work day. Got to work today, already started working today. And then tonight we have a holiday date night surprise. JS has planned something, I don't know what it is. Um, so it's gonna be a surprise and I'm gonna take you guys along through this whole day. So it's morning, I'm currently downtown Montreal in my car. I just finished my work shift at the spin studio. It went super well and now it's time to go home. I actually have to go pot. <clears throat> I have to go past by JS's place to pick up my gear and then we're gonna go home and like start the work day and all of that. I feel really dehydrated from my shift even though I had the juice like you saw I've been trying to drink water but I've got like a bit of a headache. I don't know maybe it's from all the cleaning products that we use. Anyway it's gonna be a great day today it's the first day in like almost a week it feels where it's not raining it's like actually that's not true it was fine on Monday okay I will see you guys at home okay sit sit no Ready for the big photo shoot? Yeah. Did you have breakfast already? Look, like, like she's putting her paws on. <laughs> look at the wreath. Yeah, I need to find it. Oh, to spritz it? Yeah. What do you think? It is. I, I decided to abandon my uh, starter and to start a new one. It was yucky? Too many times. The thing is, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, and too many times I didn't follow what it says. I, uh, I'm out of honey, so I put uh, syrup. It's very Americana. What you did? Well, it's just like the blue, red, and red. Yeah. Okay, do it again. Do it again. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're home. We're back at home. Hmm? You happy? Maggie's looking at me like she wants breakfast because it's early and she's trying to trick me, but I already know that she has gave her breakfast this morning, huh? You already ate. Oh my gosh, you're so soft and cute. You're so soft and cute. Going to make a little coffee. <laughs> These are all decaf pods, except for that one, except for the Nicaraguas. This oat milk, it's like the kind of usual brand that I get, Earth's Own. However, it's got no like weird ingredients. There's only four ingredients in it. This was so expensive. I think I paid $7 for this, um, but it tastes really good. And I find it doesn't give you that like thick feeling on the back of your tongue, like regular oat milk does. Um, I go back and forth between caring about those ingredients and not caring just kind of depends what mood I'm in but lately I've just been splurging and buying this one and it kind of I don't know consciously it makes me feel better all that to say though I'm not sure how it's gonna froth because there's no like oil or sugar in it or anything which most of those like barista or even the normal oat milks have so let's see mm -hmm. 
going to put in a drop of peppermint syrup. <laughs> Not me just being like, look at my oat milk, it's so natural. Hey, here's my artificial syrup. I'm shocked, you guys. It actually frothed pretty decently. That's nice. Look at this. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I need a straw. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Perfect little iced December decaf latte peppermint did i say peppermint oh my gosh it's perfect i swear you guys this is better than starbucks it's so good just an espresso pod oat milk and a dash of syrup i wanted to tell you guys a tiny story time um just like on the subject of syrup so i was watching a reels and it was this lady she was like this really cute mom um it was her really cute baby and she's like get ready with me let's go holiday shopping at target she pulls out a Stanley cup. I think it was the bigger one than this, which this is like a liter, I think. And hers was like the mega glug. She opens up and it was like, you guys had to, I need to set the scene. Like it was so aesthetic. Her kitchen was perfect. Like everything, the music, like so aesthetic, typical Reels vibes. You know what I mean? So she pulls out her Stanley cup, opens up the lid, comes back with two cans of Dr. Pepper, pours it in to her Stanley cup. Then she takes a bottle of vanilla syrup, like the one I just had, glug, 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 into the cup. I think she probably put ice too. So Dr. Pepper plus syrup. I was like, did I see that right? Like what the heck? She puts it in her cart, she goes shopping around Target. And like, I kind of thought it was a joke at first because that is just so much sugar. But I guess that's what she liked. And I was reading the comments because I was like, okay, tell me like this. I'm not crazy for thinking this is crazy. And all of the comments were like, oh my gosh, like, is that vodka? It, like, what is that syrup? And she was just like, oh, it's vanilla syrup. I really like how it tastes. Like, okay, good for you. But like, I've never seen anyone do that. That was shocking to me. <laughs> and I thought it was a joke. Like, I really thought it was a joke. Like, in this aesthetic reel, I thought it was a joke. But it wasn't. Anyways, all that to say, I'm just like her with my peppermint syrup, but it's so good. I feel like it's going to last me like three years. It's just sugar. It never goes bad. Best little 20 bucks I ever spent having that at home. It's, it's so good. It's so festive. Mm, so you guys can probably tell I'm in a really good mood today. I filmed yesterday. That was Vlogmas day six or seven, whatever. Um, and I was feeling really anxious the past. So today's Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I guess I just had a lot of anxiety and I just feel happy for for now because it could come back, but for now to be just kind of on the other side of it. I'm trying to just stay really positive, woke up feeling really positive. I think the weather's really helping. It's the first sunny day in a couple days and yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that thump in the background, but Maggie has her bone. She's coming over here. I need to show you. Hey. Yeah, 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 make a lot of noise. Go ahead, go ahead, go, come on, ding it. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna get to work in a sec, but I wanna do the advent calendar. So today is the 8th of December. Christmas is love, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so I think a lot of the reason why my anxiety has been really high is that there's just so much going on it all feels very rushed and yeah it's just like overwhelmed mixed with kind of stress and rush just turns into anxiety for me um vlogmas is very busy my contract is busier than it's ever been busier than it's been since the beginning and i keep thinking that we're almost done like every week i'm like okay we're almost done and then more 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 and i'm really grateful for the work i'm grateful that we get to keep going and that you know everyone's enjoying this project and we're probably going to do it again fingers crossed but it's just i wasn't expecting it so I don't think I was mentally prepared to be that busy with the contract while doing Vlogmas. And then my other contract, I've kind of had to put it on the back burner, which I feel really guilty for. And they called me yesterday and I was just like, I was driving and I was like, okay, I'm, I, I'll have to look at it later. And then it, it, it's just like not been in the center of my mind. And so I've been feeling a little bit guilty about that, but it is what it is. And prioritization is <laughs> the biggest lesson I think that 
you kind of learn in work and in adulthood as well as like you don't have unlimited time and so you need to prioritize. So today my number one priority is to get my monthly money video finished, edited and uploaded. So it's all recorded already. It's was been recorded for like eight days now. I'm halfway through the main editing process. So the way I edit my videos is go through everything, chop it all up. Um, and then when it's a sit down video, like a monthly money, I watch it back again. And that's when I add music, any overlays, text, etc. So being halfway through the main portion of editing means I'm halfway through the whole editing process, I guess, because the other part is quite time consuming, watching it back, then exporting, uploading, thumbnail, title, all of that. So going to be busy. I don't want to rush because I don't want that anxiety to come back. That's also why I do decaf coffee. Then I have a call at two for the copywriting. They also asked me, they just sent me an email to call them about something else. So very, very busy. Um, and, but I'm going to work on that later this afternoon. So I'm hoping that by like one, I'll be done the video and then we'll be able to switch into that other mode. We'll see how it goes. I am gonna get started right away. a good day so far i'm so just like content feeling which is such a contrast from yesterday so i don't know i'm really just really happy about that my video is currently exporting so we're right on schedule i got another call scheduled um, with my contract at three so i'm going to be on the phone for about an hour and a half this afternoon which is nice i like having calls because you guys know like i'm so alone all day it's like just me and maggie here and although she keeps me good company it's nice to speak to other humans so i always look forward to the calls that i have i'm also so excited for tonight i honestly just don't know what to expect and i'm just like i'm just kind of like giddy with excitement he's had this planned it's been in my calendar for like almost two weeks now maybe a week and a half and I have no idea what's gonna happen. So it's just nice. It's like so sweet of him to plan something like this. I feel like it's like a little Christmas surprise. So I don't know, I'm just really excited. Ma'am, you're really not supposed to do that. Right, there's my lunch. It looks so good. I'm so excited to eat it. We've got Dr. Pepper or water. You'll never know. Oh no. <laughs> you know, when you're like looking for a new episode of your podcast and there isn't one. Ugh. This is the podcast that I'm currently obsessed with. It's called The Girl's Bathroom, and I'm gonna listen to this while I eat. And I'm also gonna take Maggie for a walk after. So it's gonna be perfect.
the vibes in my house right now are so immaculate with like the tree and it's all dark. I just took a shower and was playing Christmas jazz music in the background. It was so divine. I'm gonna try and set the same kind of ambiance for you guys right now. Maybe a little, little jazz in the background. Nothing better than that. So <laughs> this day has been so good, so positive, so fun, so productive. I'm so excited for <laughs> Maggie's right here. Just stay away from the curler. I'm just worried about that. I'm so excited for tonight. It's not so often that JS and I go out on like, not, I don't even want to say extravagant dates, but I feel like we don't do enough date nights. We're both just so busy. And then of course with the dog and her separation anxiety, it makes it a bit harder, but he's been planning this one and I'm just so excited. I love spending time together and doing fun things and the whole vibes of like the holiday season and winter it's really nice to go out and do fun stuff because I mean as you guys can see it's so dark and you just have to do what you got to do to make the best of it so the fact that it's a surprise makes it even better and I thought we would just chat while I get ready and <laughs> I'm kind of on crack right now not actually obviously I hope um, because I'm so late I was just like got distracted and lost track of time and I've got to like run out the door but the vlog comes first my concealer does not match my self tan so all that I know is that it's probably downtown because he's having me meet him there after work however he's done this before like where he's planned a surprise and like sends me to the wrong kind of location to throw me off so it could be like completely different like one time he came and picked me up and we the place was like really close to my house where we were going and he just drove around the block a couple times to like throw me off and then we ended up pretty much parking back at my house and walking to where the, the place was the restaurant so we'll see if he's throwing me for a loop tonight but I don't know. The only thing I thought that it could be was perhaps the Nutcracker because we'd been talking about wanting to go. Um, so when he put this in my calendar, I'm such a snoop. When he put this in my calendar, I went and checked the website for the Nutcracker and the dates didn't line up. The Nutcracker opens tomorrow actually. So yeah, it's not the Nutcracker. And I think it's okay because it's good to just be surprised. Hopefully what I'm doing like makes sense. I wanted to chat about self-confidence. This has been like the kind of new recurring theme on my channel is talking about self-confidence because I don't know you guys, I've just, it's been such a struggle. Today, I've been feeling like, I don't know, this is maybe TMI, but like, I don't even mean it in a TMI way. I just like, I feel like sometimes you wanna look at yourself and you wanna look in the mirror and be like, oh, you look sexy. Like you feel sexy, you feel snatched. And it's not about body, it's not about actual sex, it's not about face, it's not about hair. It's just about like your general confidence and how you feel. And I feel like if your confidence is low, you're like not gonna feel sexy. And then I was looking at my clothes and I have so many beautiful clothes, I'm so lucky. However, a lot of them are very like casual, which is what I wear 99% of the time. But then I'm like, oh my God, I'm not sexy and I have nothing date night to wear. And like, ugh, like I have, I have nothing to wear, I have nothing, like nothing good. And just kind of getting down on myself. Now I can't say that my mood surrounding all of that has like changed in a flash. I still, like the outfit I'm gonna wear, I just picked it out after I got out of the shower. It's not my like most favorite outfit ever because it just doesn't feel that special. But then again, like kind of who cares? I just, yeah, I don't have a lot of going out clothes for the winter or going out clothes, period. Like going out clothes have changed so much. Before, before COVID, when I had a wardrobe full of clothes to go out, it was like skinny jeans and, you know, tiny crop tops. And now like that's not the style anymore. And I am a sheep who just follows trends. So I don't want to wear that. I would love to know from you guys what, like if you go out on date nights, whether it's with a partner or just dates in general, like what do you like to wear? I feel like on Instagram, everyone dresses so up for a date night 
and obviously I guess that's what's kind of messing with me which like obviously Instagram can mess with you <laughs> okay I might look decent from far away but up close I kind of look like a clown I just feel like everything that I've seen has been like revolve 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 for date nights and I also feel like if I had that stuff in my closet, I wouldn't even feel confident enough to reach for it because it feels like so dressed up, if that makes sense. So I'm complaining that I don't have enough dressed up clothes, but then I also know myself and know that even if I had them in my closet, I wouldn't necessarily reach for them. So what's wrong with me? I'm going to do my mascara with the camera off because I always stab myself in the eye when the camera's on. Okay, I realize I'm being like so negative and I should probably just give myself a pep talk. So you know what, Zoe? You look, you're gonna look freaking hot. You look good. Like, look at yourself, Tanner, go. Look at you wearing makeup once again. You're gonna go have fun. It doesn't even matter how you look. And I feel good, okay? I feel good. <laughs> Why is so much of the getting ready process for girls like hyping yourself up and like, feeling bad about yourself and just like, it's so up and down. It's just crazy. So I bought a curling iron. I haven't had one of these in a long time. I got this on Amazon for like $20. And I'm gonna try curling my hair. It should take me only about five minutes. That's what I remember from when I used to curl it. But I'm actually gonna go get dressed first so that I can just be ready. So far so good on the outfit. You can see my bra straps a tiny bit, but will live. Hi baby. Hi. <laughs> Just really watch out for that curling iron, okay? Can you sit? Sit down. Good job. Okay, let's see if the muscle memory remembers how to do this. So, story time of my curling iron. You're making me nervous, my love. Story time of my curling iron is I had a curling wand back in like 2018. I'm gonna burn my hand. When everyone had one. What is this one? Two, three, four, five, I don't know. Whoa. I look like a freak, I'll put my hair up. Um, so I had one of these things when everyone had them back in the day. I loved it because my hair, I'm so scared to burn myself. My hair was about the length that it is right now and I would use this curling iron like every single day to style my hair for school. And I remember being a part of this committee at school and so I would always like be giving presentations and stuff oh my god I'm so nervous and so I would always have my hair like this and I have so many old photos of me with my hair like this anyways I left the curling iron in the car once overnight in the winter time and obviously it broke after that and then I just never bought a new one again because I feel like the prices went up or something. Anyways, along this whole self-confidence journey, I mentioned this in one video, but I was thinking about like going and getting my hair straightened, like a hair straightening treatment or something. I was like, maybe I need extensions. I actually did, this is too high. I did get clip-in extensions to try out actually. Um, I'm afraid of them though, just like I'm afraid of this curling iron. And anyways, but I remembered my curling iron after that and I was like, what if I just started giving my hair little waves? Maybe that would give me like a little confidence boost that I need. And it's just easier, I think, on my hair. And my hair is already naturally wavy, so. Ah, that's too hot. Okay, I don't know how we're doing here, but. I figured the curling iron could just work with my natural waves. I wish you guys could see. Maggie's face is like up my butt right now. <laughs> okay. Not curled. Curled. I'll take it. Sick. Um, so yeah, I found this curling iron on Amazon. I had a credit that was like applicable for nothing on Amazon. And I had it for months. And then I saw that it was applicable for this curling iron. I was like, okay, it's a sign. So I ordered it and uh, here we are. I also did like the one month free trial of Prime. I know like it took me so long to try it. And I swear Prime is evil because 
it makes you just want to order stuff because you know you're going to have it so fast. So I canceled my trial today so that I stop ordering stuff. I ordered some nail stuff that, I mean, I kind of needed, but definitely the fact that it was prime, like pushed me towards buying it. Okay, hair on fleek. You guys saw how fast that was? Damn. And I do feel a confidence boost. I feel, oh, I feel nice. Stupid bra strap. One, two, three, turn off. Stunning. Okay, we're gonna do lipstick and we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get out of here. Look at that, you guys, from down in the dumps to feeling fly. All in a day's work. <laughs> What's wrong with me? This is my outfit. I feel like it could use a belt. Like I could pull these up with a belt and have it so that there's no like skin showing or more very little skin and they're just like a wide leg trouser. Um, we're gonna go into my closet and these are the boots that I'm gonna wear. They're like these kind of glossy booties with a heel. And it's such a mess in here. Every oh, everything's falling. Christmas cards, hats, headband, whatever. This is the box where I keep belts and stuff and slippers. I'm thinking this belt could be good and it has a little chain. Okay, that belt didn't look good, so went for a complete outfit change. This is just this little flowy kind of top with the trousers and then the boots like I showed you guys. I'm probably gonna freeze. I'm probably gonna freeze, but I tried on a bunch of different shirts, sweaters. Nothing made me feel good. Nothing made me feel like feminine and kind of sexy, which is how I wanna feel. I feel weird talking about being sexy on camera, but you know, whatever, here it is. Um, so this is what we landed on. Is it the most, you know, trendy high fashion thing? No, but I like it. So there it is. So I am extremely late. I've got to run. Let's go together and have a beautiful night wherever it may take us. Christmas way.